Now, your 21 Alive first alert forecast. And I uh, couldn't believe what I was hearing earlier today when we were talking <laughs> about the amount of snow we got in some parts of uh, 21 country. Yeah, we knew that somewhere in northern Indiana we would see some accumulations. Yep. But I didn't think that it was going to be this far east, admittedly. But... That's the way weather goes sometimes, yeah. unfortunately. Sometimes you uh, just have to take your lumps and uh, forecast another day. I was, I, was, I was talking to Chris Daniels earlier this evening. Here's some of the snow totals across the area. Northwest Whitley County, 3.8 inches as of 9.30 this evening. North Webster, about 2.5. Same in Arcola. Columbia City saw just under 2 inches of snow in, in southwest Fort Wayne at my house actually measured 1.3 inches. Now, of course, for Fort Wayne, my house is not the measuring site for, for the National Weather Service. So, officially out at the airport, the earliest we've seen one plus inch of snow was October 19th, 1989. There's the chance that we break that record today. However, the airport is pretty far south in Allen County, so we won't really have a measurement for how much snow fell there until probably tomorrow morning. Weather advisories right now, winter weather advisory for the counties in purple until 1 a.m. tonight. That's because those are the areas that could continue to see snow accumulations. You see some of that rain still mixing with the snow on the far western edge of the viewing area. And earlier this evening, we mentioned that we had a pipeline of precipitation connecting us basically from Lake Michigan all the way down to the county here. And these are our storm reports, heavy snow all along that axis, as well as a few downed trees like we talked about earlier here in Allen County. Now, we're still going to have to deal with the rain-snow mix during the overnight and into Tuesday morning. Some places will see a little bit more snow than rain. Some places will see a little bit more rain than snow. But as we head into the afternoon, you're going to notice that time about the noon hour. We're going to see everything change from rain to mo or from snow to mostly rain about noon, one o'clock. And then we'll be dealing with scattered rain showers throughout Tuesday evening and into Wednesday morning. But as we head into Wednesday afternoon, we should start to dry up and see a little bit of that sunshine return. And after that as well, good news, temperatures are going to warm up. But it's going to be chilly tomorrow. 35 at 7 a.m., 37 at 9 a.m., and 39 at 11. Seeing that change over to mostly rain by about lunchtime. And it's going to be windy as well. Wind gusts are going to be anywhere between 30 to 40 miles per hour tomorrow. So when temperatures are around freezing or so in the morning for some of us, that feels like temperature. That wind chill will be about 10 degrees cooler. You can see lots of 20s for those wind chills tomorrow morning. And really, that's going to be the theme throughout the entire day on Tuesday is that whatever that air temperature is, take about 5 to 10 degrees off, and that's what it's going to feel like throughout the entire day thanks to the wind. And that trend continues into your Wednesday as well before, like I mentioned, that warmer air starts to move in. Winds will shift out of the southwest. That'll start to push, push in that, that warmer, uh, more moist air into our area. So we just have to get through Tuesday and Wednesday. Highs in the low to mid 40s before we start to see the sunshine return Thursday afternoon. And then mostly sunny skies Friday into next weekend as temperatures climb up into the 60s pretty quickly by Friday. And then a pair of 70s wow. for the weekend. So quite the change over the next couple of days, Brian. Uh, I would say so. That's a complete turnaround from what we're seeing. There. That's, so this, that's this time of year. You yeah. can get snow in 70s in one week. This is proof. Something for everybody. Mm -hmm. All right. Thank you.